What have you been putting off? I can't wait to speak to Jules Anderson, who has got a wonderful... What's your job officially, Jules? What do you call yourself? A declutterer? Yes, a professional organiser or a professional declutterer is my official title. People must hate having you round to dinner. <laughs> it does neatly skew us into, uh, obviously, the jobs that we've been putting off and where to start and what to do with all our stuff. Absolutely. And there is no greater time than now. Everybody is in their home and rightly so, that is where everybody should be. And of course, boredom is set in already and we've got to be realistic that we're going to be in lockdown for quite some time. Now, we all have those jobs at home, don't we, that we go, oh, I haven't got time to do that or, oh, I'm going to work and I haven't got time and I can't do that. But now is the time where we can get on with those things. And there's loads of stuff that you can do, particularly with children as well. Uh, things like um, your kitchen cupboards. Obviously, we've all been very conscious about food lately and making sure that we've got the right amount of food in to, to feed our family so that we're not having to go out as much. But what's at the back of those cupboards? You know and I know that there's, there's spices in there and all sorts of packet soups and things that, that have probably went out of date a couple of years ago. You can get those out. You can put them on your kitchen table. Table. You can sit down with your kids. You can all go through those things. You can get the children to look for the best before dates and you can get them to make creative labels, putting things in Tupperware boxes and getting really, really organized in your kitchen. You can do loads of things in the house as well. You can go into your bathroom cupboards, you know, things like creams that are out of date and all these sorts of things you can do together as a family, uh, keeping active as well, because keeping busy and moving around the home where possible, because obviously where some people are self-isolating it obviously that's not as simple but for those families that find themselves just in the home together there are many things that you can do just to keep busy and it's important that you're moving around and staying active because if you find yourself sort of stuck in front of the telly and not really doing anything you can start to wander off and sort of think about what's what's going on in the world and of course we're all conscious of it and we can't forget what's happening but it's really important to stay practical in the home while you've got the opportunity